Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another thing. Uh, this time I'm going over things I'm hoping to see from Hermitcraft Season 8. Because Hermitcraft Season 8 is coming out pretty soon. So, here's some things that I kind of hope to see from Hermitcraft Season 8. I've said Hermitcraft Season 8 way too many times. Uh, first of all, I think Joe Hills, Cleo, and Corrales will work together from the start a lot more. I know Joe and Cleo are working on a collaborative base from the start of the season, and I think Corrales would be a really good addition to them because he had a really good dynamic with Cleo at the end of Season 7, so I, I think it'd be really cool. Uh, I also hope Cleo and B-Dubs collab more. If you watch Third Life SMP at all, you realize what a good team they really are. So it'd be really cool to see them collaborate more. In the same vein as that, uh, a collaboration that we didn't see much in Season 7 that I think would go really well together is ZF and Grian, because during the Hermitcraft Big Base swap, they had really good chemistry together, so I think it'd be really cool to see them work together more in this season. Uh, I think Cub Fan will probably end up being the richest one. No reason, I just really like Cub and I want to see him succeed. Um, I think Mumbo Jumbo will probably branch out and collaborate with more people outside of Iskal and Grian, who are his main collaborators in Season 7. Uh, I think there's probably going to be a war. There's been a war for the past two seasons, and there's probably going to be another. And I can't wait to see what they do. The season 7 had uh, the Turf War, and Season 6 had the Civil War, and I'm excited to see what they do next. It's going to be fun. Tag 3. Uh, Tag has also been in Hermitcraft for the past couple seasons, so like... It makes sense that they'd do another game of Tag. Uh, in Cleo's finale, she talked about how the head games really launched her start into Hermitcraft this season. And so I think we're probably going to get something in a similar vein from Cleo, as she's probably going to keep working with armor stands, because that's kind of her thing. Uh, this one's already been confirmed, but I predicted this one like two weeks ago when I was writing up this list. It is Hermits Helping Hermits. More of that. Uh, earlier on, too. Be which has already been confirmed, starting Monday. They're doing Hermits Helping Hermits starting at the beginning of the series, and which is really cool. I also hope we have Proximity Chat on earlier, uh, because that was also super cool, and it'd just be cool to see it throughout the entire season. Uh, I think we'll probably be seeing less of Iskal, False, and Stress, because they are all in Iskal's Vault Hunters series, which means they're probably going to be busy until September. They'll probably join closer to Caves and Cliffs Part 2. I'd like to see TFC collaborate with people uh, more, because I think he collaborated with one person throughout the entirety of Season 7, and I know he didn't. I know he was busy throughout Season 7, and he had things going on, so he didn't make many videos, so he didn't really have time to collaborate. But I think it'd still be really cool for him to collaborate with more people. As for newcomers, I can't really predict anyone new, because... Uh, Anyone I think would fit well has probably already been considered or is a part of another server that would be taking up their time. I think Exuma's gonna make a sea base just because he's an oxalotl this season, so like, it makes sense if his base took place in the sea. Although that's, that's just what I think. What are your Hermitcraft Season 8 predictions? Leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them and maybe make a follow-up video if I get enough of them. It's a fun thing to predict things, so like, leave comments, subscribe, Check out my other videos. I had a stream the other day that was a try not to laugh challenge, and that's a fun VOD. Go check it out. Anyways, that's all this time. Peace out, homies.